Thank you so much for attending my presentation on why Chen Pao is very overtuned, and I'm actually going to be breaking the formula and talking about its ability first. If you watch my Chi Yu video, Swords of Ruin works very similarly to Beads of Ruin. Each of the Pokemon in the field has their defense reduced by 25%, which not only gives itself an attack boost, but also its teammates. Because of this, Chen Pao is really good in doubles, and when compared to bullshit like your Shifu and Flutterman, it's honestly somewhat healthy. In doubles, it takes on an odd supportive role, oftentimes running Focus Sash and Terragos to stick around longer and keep its ability active for its teammates to exploit. But in singles, it's a whole nother story, the main catalyst actually being its speed. Other strong click the button attackers often forgo boosting items in favor of Choice Scarf, which gives them the quickness they need to tear teams apart. Champao is different though, as 135 base is nearly unmatched. Pokemon like Cinderace and Masquerada, who would normally be able to comfortably outspeed non scarf variants of these threats, are left in the dust, drastically reducing its checks. The former, who would normally have the tools to knock it out with Pyro Ball, can't reliably take a crunch. When even bulky variants of strong fast fire types flat out lose to an ice type, you know something's fucked up. Champao's moveset isn't perfect, but has enough to dish out more than enough damage. While its dual-stab combo of Crunch and Ice Spinner lacks the power of common moves like Earthquake, Outrage, and Moonblast, the Cat's attack stat makes up the difference. If you want to make it even stronger, one Swords Dance can literally end the game, as even resisted targets don't want to take one of Pao's moves after Hazard Chip. Oh, their Pokemon is faster than you? This motherfucker gets Ice Shard and Sucker Punch too. The only real blind spot is its coverage, but it honestly doesn't even need more than Sacred Sword, a staple on its kit already. Chimpao's frailty when facing two Pokemon and the threat of Tailwind essentially requires it to use a Focus Sash and VGC, but that's thrown out the window in singles. With both the Tailwind and Turkrim's near relevance in OU, Chimpao can afford to run other items, all it needs to ruin the tier. With the Choice Band equipped, nothing could switch it without risking 70 plus percent of their health from a goddamn neutral attack. Even shit like Max HP, Max Defense, Clefable don't like switching into Crunch, it's a defense job can put it in a terrible position. And don't even get me started on Terra, which gives it even more ways to steal games. The variety of items this thing can use makes it even better. A resist might switch into you expecting a choice item, but oops, your life orb, and they just lost their only fair type, plus 30 rating. All of Champao's traits combined would lead to its banning a little over two months after the game's released. It was retested in the Pokemon Home metagame a while later, but was quickly sent back to Ubers where it's thankfully remained since. In conclusion, Champao's over-the-top stats and ability make it completely unfair in any overused metagame to date. However, since it reminds me of my wonderful cat, I still love this thing to death despite its clear balancing issues. Thank you so much for watching.